Now where you at, yo? Now where you at, yo? Now where you at, yo? Locked in the music chamber on the pen and paper. Walmart has uh, 25 outer sleeves and 25 inner sleeves, you know what I mean? And I feel like it was perfect. I said, shit, I gotta take that. Usually, I don't hear nobody buying records at Walmart, but I found this really cool record, and the thing that caught my attention was the fact that Johnny Cash, you know, the legend, and the fact that he was live in Austin, Texas, you know what I'm saying? I seen a, a documentary a while, a while back on Jay Dilla, and I seen that he had his stuff organized in alphabetical order, right? And every single, he had hundreds, maybe thousands of records. And uh, every single record had a sleeve, you know what I'm saying? It has, had a sleeve and uh, um, man, I was just like, wow, you know, like this guy, that's how you know you're serious about your stuff and he was a serious producer legendary but man you know he kept his stuff organized like if he knew that his friends say that he knew when a record was misplaced because you know he that's how deep he got into his art form that's how much he knew his collection what record went where and if you misplace something then you know he was really picky about his stuff it took months of myself my sister and my niece to put everything in alphabetical order and when we did the alphabetical order and everything got in sleeves, he personally put the sleeves on each album himself. And um, after we did all that and we thought we had it made, we were working eight and nine hour days at that, you know, doing this here. Then he'll come and he'll say, you gotta do these two racks over. It's certain ones that a certain artist can have to go on different shelving, alphabetize those in a different area. It's like really OCD with it when it comes to the records and everything, everything being clean and neat and organized, like, you know. And I never really understood his organization process at all, but he knew where he could go right to any part and pull a record out at any given time. He took care of his records. Got him in the he got them still in the sleeve. He don't even have them so you can play them. You got to take it all out. You got to like, most people put them in at least like this so you can just pull the record out. But nah, he got it like a, a real record store, like, no, nah, I'm gonna know who's messing with my records. About to play it. And also, what do y'all get y'all's little mats from? I wanna get, I got the regular new Mark one, but I wanna get some badass mats. If y'all know what's up, drop a comment, let me know where I could buy some badass shit. Oh, and drop your, drop your favorite Johnny Cash song, yo. Let me know what, what you be jamming. They came with a DVD, you know what I'm saying? So, here it is, that DVD. I think this thing is gonna be badass. So I need to check it out. But, man, Johnny Cash's voice was just different. It was so perfect for his style. It, it's just fit him so well. New West, live from Austin, Texas. Shout out to all the people from Austin checking this shit out. I wish they had one from Houston or something. 
like pictures of a show that he did down here. But uh, this is some badass shit. I've never, I don't think I've came across the videos in YouTube of this concert. So I'm really excited to check this out. But uh, yeah, that's what came. That This is why I bought this vinyl at Walmart. So go dig it in the crates, man. Go to Walmart. You find some amazing shit there sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. What do y'all prefer? The big debate. Target or Walmart? Just fucking with the most. Take care of this trash, baby. We're gonna let that play. We're gonna let that ring real quick. Definitely gotta watch this.